I want to thank you for coming to the yes. Cooked Vegan. I'm, I'm excited. Right? Yes. <laughs> Kingdom Cooking Meals at Heal Cooking Class. Right. Yay! Yay. I'm so excited Yay. to be here. We have some amazing dishes for you, and I just wanted to get an idea as to why you came. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to go around, and you can just say your name and just tell us why, why you decided to come to the class. Okay, I'll start. Okay, okay. I'm Naomi, and um, I wanted to come to the class because I want to go vegan. I want to learn a lot about a lot of vegetarian dishes because I, I want to get away from all the... But I'm all here to really eat meats and stuff like that, but health-wise. I want to do it health-wise and um, just make my body better. What? <laughs> Hi, I'm Joyce Yarbrough. I need to be here because I'm a wreck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be on the same page. Alright, you too. <laughs> yes. I'm a diabetic and I'm out of mm -hmm. control. Mm -hmm. I eat anything and everything my mouth get to. Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. Yes. And I'm trying. The harder I try, the worse yes. I get. Okay. Right. You know. Right. So I said I gotta do something different. Mm -hmm. Cause my daughter is a health freak. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. But she's yeah. in Virginia. So oh, that's I do what yeah. I want to do now. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. Yeah. Okay. I'm here for my 15th class. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Carmen to death. Mm -hmm. I love the way she She's and her amazing. husband both prepare these dishes. Yeah. I really would love for her to open a catering delivery service. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or yes. open her open her own restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just here for the food. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do need to be here. I'm Karen. Um, Donna just told me that she was coming here, and being a healthcare provider, I want to live a longer and healthier mm -hmm. life, and I too love food, so yeah. I want to <laughs> be able to eat better foods. It yes. seems like the no good foods taste mm -hmm. the best, so yeah. mm -hmm. yes. I'll give it a try. Yes. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Hey, well, I'm Jessica. Um, I'm here for all of the reasons that I'm uh, I was vegetarian before for uh, two and a half years, and it went well for me, my skin was really good because I have eczema, so uh, it, it helped me out and going back to me, gained the weight and my skin is getting worse and I just want to go back on track to find a balance, a happy balance in between uh, vegetarian and finding the proper protein. So that's why I'm here to, and I plan to live to 100. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I want to do now, I'm going to make two meals in one, right? But there are two separate meals, but I just want to like prepare them around the same time, so okay. that this way. And you can do that. I always like to uh, remind people that when they feel overwhelmed with cooking and all that, you can just take like a day for your cooking and make your stuff for the week, like the, the, the microwaves. Yeah. yeah. So what I like to do is you can just put it in water and boil it. Oh, okay. yeah. But the whole thing is, we are so busy, we don't have a lot of time, right? So it's just about being creative so you don't have the excuse of having to go out all the time and buy stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, so if you can find these little creative ways to make things easier for yourself, mm -hmm. um, it's going to help you a lot. And it's going to keep you from making those bad choices. So anyway, what I'm doing simultaneously is preparing the breakfast and preparing um, like the dinner, I guess. I won't say dinner. And so the breakfast, as I mentioned, is going to be the hash browns. Mm -hmm. So we were boiling the um, potatoes. Uh -huh. already... But if you are baking potatoes, if you like to bake potatoes, and I have a nice um, tip for baking potatoes where you put them in the um, in any of your Pyrex mm -hmm. uh, dishes with the top with a little bit of water, and then you put the seasoning on top of the potato and close it and then you put it in the oven like mm. 400 degrees for a certain amount of time and, and then you can turn off turn it off and then you have a beautiful potato that you use coconut oil now that is yeah. awesome with the coconut oil to replace okay. the butter mm -hmm. okay. coconut oil sea salt pepper um, it's amazing how delicious that is mm. with a salad you, okay. have a, you have a meal right there. Mm -hmm. So what you, 
would you would you take the potato and rub the coconut oil on the potato? Oh, I cook it with the olive oil actually. I put olive uh -huh. oil on top of the potato, but when I'm when it's on right. my plate, right. it's when I add the coconut oil. Oh, on the oh, 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 your plate. Yeah, oh, instead, instead of the butter. butter. Yeah, yeah, instead of the butter. Instead, okay. instead of the butter. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. Right. right, so it's That's a butter replacement. Okay. Because we don't do butter anymore. So you see, this is a little more than half the size of, of the amount of that will fit in this container and this is um what's this quart container i think it's a, 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 a quart it's not a pint it's a quart right um so what you want to do is fill this up and then what you do is just start adding your spices what what i normally do is when i have herbs that are like rosemary whatever i just break it up a little bit in my hand just open up the, the oils but, um, and you can help me if you feel free. Go on and just just put the spices in there. And you see, you don't have to be. <laughs> it's pretty foolproof. This is onion this salt. Is, salt. Yes, yes. Oh, you got good. This is the only thing you have to be careful with the sea salt. You don't want to put a lot. Just enough for flavor, not too much, because we're going to put the um, liquid aminos. And that's salty. Right? Which, which so let's see what this is. Um, Smells mm. like mm. Yeah, that is oregano. Oregano, oregano. oregano. No, I can smell. Yeah, this is oregano. Like and oregano. Be be behind you, Jess, can you grab the rest of those spices? Yeah. Yeah. Can you pass me the rest of those spices? Yeah, just grab them all. Oh, you all right. did like well, that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. Now this, it smells like licorice. Mm -hmm. Now, what? That taste is what gives the, the, this meat the flavor of really? of, say, of uh, sausage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a savory. Right? Yeah. You know, the spice in there. It's like a little curry. Yeah. Yeah. Curry in there. Okay. Just throw it Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the thing. You can't be afraid of the spices. Oh. Right, Tanisha? I always saw her. Don't be afraid, <laughs> Don't be afraid. of the spices. Oh, this yeah. is pepper. This too. actually is um parsley. No, not parsley. The other Spanish. Uh, cilantro. 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 That's pepper. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. We, we, uh, <laughs> you put that. You put that. Right. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Um. What's the oh. Uh, yes. Next door. That's super. Is it Crescent Street? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see. It's like soy sauce. Yeah, but again, it's just oh, thing. Oh, yeah, natural soy sauce. Oh, I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. So oh, what we're we going to do is just cover this up. Yeah, this middle, yeah. yeah. Just let it sit well, so it's nice. not too long. Um, now, does that smell good? Yeah. It's good. It tastes what? like soy sauce. Oh, oh, that's really good. So what's happening? Yeah. What's happening is it's absorbing into the texture mm -hmm. soy protein, right? And if you look at this, it's like it's non-GMO. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, you have some soy pe people that have soy issues. Mm -hmm. So if you have, if you're allergic to soy, then it wouldn't be a good option for you. Mm -hmm. But if you aren't, it's a great mm -hmm. option mm -hmm. if you're transitioning. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, once you once you transition, you won't need something like this. You could just do just your vegetables and eventually you're eating raw and a lot of raw, especially if you're healing your body. But for transition, it's perfect because it gives you that satisfaction of me, it gives you the, the, the taste, the texture, everything you can ever want. And even if you have people in your family who who are meat eaters and you're trying to make the transition, trust me, if you don't tell them what this is, they won't know. They won't know. I never tell them. <laughs> okay, so now while that's working, what I want to do is just make the rice, and I want to show you how to make like the perfect rice. How many of you know how to make a perfect brown rice? <laughs> Did I say it? Okay. How many, how many of you know how to make perfect white rice? Sometimes, yeah. So anyway, this is organic brown rice. Delicious. And this is like a multi um, rice mm -hmm. with, it also has the black rice, brown rices in it, and the short grain rices in it. And, you know, aside from it looking pretty, it also, of course, anything that's dark is going to have more right. nutritional value. So that's why it's good. And the, basically what you want to do with your rice to make it foolproof. Anyway, so what you want to do is... Um, like whatever 
is in there will be cooked. They don't care you. It's what it's and, you know, I, I mean, I used to be so, like, skittish about about things until I started eating more natural. Mm -hmm. no. Right. So, anyway, oh, gosh, I'm not even sure. I need to give you a measurement, right? Um, and the cookbook has measurement. But whatever you use, is, you want to use double water. Okay. Right? right? So, whatever you're using, just use double water. That's, that's very right. easy, right? And and then that's it. So basically, after that, you just add your spices, or you can just add sea salt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You just add sea salt if you want. Mm -hmm. Now, what I like to do to make things a little more uh, interesting, mm -hmm. I take some cinnamon, a cinnamon stick, mm -hmm. a piece mm -hmm. of cinnamon stick. I also sometimes I'll take a piece of clove mm -hmm. um, and I'll put that in the rice. Oh. Mm. So that gives it a little like an aromatic. Uh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because again, how did you know to put these things together? Um, <laughs> this is a gift. Yeah. She yeah. Gift. She, she has a gift. gift. Yes. <laughs> I would have never thought about it, you know? But remember, too, when you're making food for people and you're not giving them meat, you have to, you have to, you know, have more flavors going on. Because otherwise, they're not going to accept it. And my whole thing is, I don't want anybody to have an excuse not to eat this way. So I'm, I'm going to debunk every excuse, time, flavor, I was born on meat, I'm going to die on meat, you know, uh, all, you know what I mean? You are going to die on meat. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And then what Anthony, like, he got me adding a little bit of, um, you know, just to just take a little bit of onion powder or garlic powder mm, and yeah, put it in the yeah. rice, you know, just a little bit. Yeah. But think of it, too, as, you know, like rice aroni. Yeah, has yeah. all that stuff in no, there. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it's like you're making your own rice aroni. Okay, but healthier. Yeah, but healthier, and and you don't have to make it as flavorful. Yeah. You know, it depends on what you what you're having with it. You know, so right. um, that and then the sea salt, basically, that's it. You definitely now, have the sea salt. Well, he had in, in uh, taste buds. I have bought the. I think it was the. Uh, the poultry season. Yeah. No, that's not, I will put that in the yeah. rice sometimes too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because then now it tastes like chicken right. and rice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. And mm -hmm. you notice the East Indians, they're not afraid of spices. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. I don't know if any of you are familiar mm -hmm. with eating Indian mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, I love you know, it. They're, yeah, they are Every not, day mm -hmm. I eat it. Yes. They're not afraid of, um, of spices at all. And, and that's why we love that. We love the food because it's so aromatic. Yes. It's just mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is just let this start to come to a boil. And once it comes to the boil, a boil, you want to set the timer for 35 minutes. Oops. And, and, and then you want to cover it. So what you want it to come to a boil first. If you cover it before it comes to a boil, that's when you get that mushed up rice. Right. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So you want it hot, you want, you know, and then you cover it. And those are the little, those little things. You guys can have your little, you need your little cards, or you want some more cards, or you good? Because the cookbook will have, that does have the rice, it does have the rice in there. Okay, so we got that going, we have that going, we have the meat going. So then what you can do is start to um, cut the vegetables for, um, for your sauteed vegetables. Because I didn't even give you the, the little mini sheet. Mm -hmm. no, sorry. Okay. Alright, and then... Now, does that, it keeps, oh, so you just have make to be a little bit of 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 a little
um, like, what do you call it? Um, moon, moon, half moon, kind of thing. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> get that knife off of here, Tom. All right. <laughs> the rice is boiling. Okay. okay. We need to turn it down minutes. to two. We're right, going to turn the rice down to two. Mm -hmm. Anyone go to you? I'm going to get the time. Get in there? Okay. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. You want to meet me? Oops. <laughs> okay. I'm so cool in here. I want to get out. Mm -hmm. But I need to open a little bit. Yeah. And we are going to make like, um, But um, but for me, I, I just love it. So and I do a lot of things with it. So what we're going to do is uh, the veggies, and we're going to. This is already yet, right? And I added a little salt to that. So let me get this olive oil. And let's get nice and hot. Because the trick too with the sauteed vegetables is that you really want the pan like hot, mm. as hot as, as, as possible, because that's what makes it sear. Oh, okay. And you want okay. the sear, and you want that that dark seared kind of thing. It almost tastes and looks like you had it on a grill. Right. So that's another secret. And and if it's not hot enough, then it cooks too slow. Mm -hmm. And if it cooks too slow, you're gonna have a mushy um, a vegetable. So that's 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 a good trick that um, it's good to know. You want to make sure your pan is really hot so that when you put the when you put the vegetables in there, it starts to sear like right away. You hear it popping and all that stuff. And then you also want to consider that the vegetables that are the hardest are the ones that cook the, 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 the longest, right? They go those first. first. Right. And again, that's that's something that a lot of people don't really consider. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. But then you end up having the vegetables. I'm, I'm into right. texture. Right. And if the texture isn't right, I don't right. like it. Exactly. I, I'm not going to enjoy it. Right. Right. Everything right. has to be right. I don't want it overly mushy. I right. want it to be um, like to have a little bit of a like crunch, crunch to it. Yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Not to the point where it's, you know, it's not cooked enough, right. mm -hmm. but you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is certainly not hot enough, so we're gonna let this get hot, hotter. And in the meantime, I think these potatoes are talking. So good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they may be ready because you don't want the potatoes overly cooked. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want them totally like because you're not making mashed potatoes. So, right. but no, they're not ready. They're almost ready, but they're not ready. And again, you can make enough of this so that you can have it for later or for lunch. Mm -hmm. Because even though you're making this for breakfast, this again with salad, hash brown potatoes and stuff. These That's are things we don't think about. Yeah. We don't, we don't no, think about no, eating yeah, that so. way. It has to be the vegetables, yeah. the meat, the you know, um, the starch. <laughs> yeah. But you don't have to eat that way. You know, if you have, and I'm telling you, your body appreciates it so much more when you're just eating your vegetables and your starch as opposed to throwing that protein in there. Because now that's truly a poor food combination. And, and it's hard to digest. And that's where we end up getting all these issues with our digestive system, so, right? If you don't have that going, um, processing properly and eliminating properly, that's where sickness and disease start to come into play, right? So that's why it's important that you eat in a way where your body can flush and eliminate better. And this is the best way to do it. Have the protein, don't have protein with the starch. If you're going to do protein, do the protein with the vegetables. Oh, do okay. meat with your vegetables, that's right. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay
and try to do that to me. And I feel www.sharingthebliss.com and grab your free Get Started Now gift bundle. Among other things, it includes my spiritually enlightening seven-day mini course and some of my most popular, amazing raw food dessert recipes. Look forward to seeing you there.